Hello everyone, my name is Jöran Sander of Petarmingen Labs. In this video we will take a look at uh, Butler 5.0's um, partial load feature. Um, out of the box ClickSense doesn't have uh, partial reloads, uh, not possible to create reload tasks in the QMC using uh, partial reloads. But the feature is there in the engine and um, um, a new Butler API exposes this partial reload feature. And let's take a look at uh, how this works. In um, the screen that we're looking at, we have four windows. In the upper left, uh, it's an app that's driving the, the whole process here. Let's call it uh, Demo App 1. And in the lower left, uh, there's another app that's um, this is the app that will be reloaded by the first app. So the first app, upper left, triggers the reload of the app in the lower left. Lower right is the QMC, and uh, in the upper right we have Butler 5 running. And it's been running for a while, um, and it's there so we can see what's happening once we start the demo. The, uh, the first app here is uh, fairly basic. Let's take a look. It has um, a standard init section. We uh, create a couple of variables that uh, tell us uh, where Butler is running. In this case it's running locally on this computer. It's a Mac laptop. Um, in a real production setting it would be on a server somewhere. We have some uh, subroutines, some helper functions. Um, uh, nice trace gives us a bit uh, more friendly trace messages and the one we're interested in here is um, reload sense app it takes a few parameters uh, first one is app ID this is the app that we want to reload it's not a task ID it's an app ID so there are no reload tasks involved in this case um, the next one is a flag whether this is a partial reload true or a full reload false. The reload mode is uh, it's called execution mode I think in the script language. Um, it tells Sans what to do if there's an error during the reload. Then a couple of arrays. Um, the first one contains a set of um, task IDs that should be started if the app reloads successfully. The uh, Second array here and the last parameter is um, some task IDs that should be started if the reload fails. So take, let's take a look then finally at what happens, what this looks like once we use it. Uh, there's a single line. To do a partial reload it's a single call to this sub. So we have an app ID here some parameters. We have a true here, which means it should be a partial reload. Um, some, um, a couple of tasks that should trigger once the reload is done. And another a couple of tasks that should trigger if the reload fails. In this case, uh, the reload should be going through without problems. Uh, the, um, the app that we're reloading here in the bottom left is created so that if it's a partial reload, if, if it's partial reload, five lines will be loaded into the table here. And um, the text on the right will tell us it was partial reload. If it's a full reload, uh, 10 rows will be loaded. So if we load, reload the first app up here on the left, then uh, we should see a change in the lower left and also um, those two apps. The, the triggers uh, for the reload tasks should kick in as well. And it's app 1 and app 2 that should then get updated and new execution timestamps. So let's um, kick it off. Okay, so what happened here? The first app reloaded fine. The second app, that was the partial contra and full reload, 
also reloaded fine and in this case it was a partial reload because we only got five rows here it also says on the right we get a new timestamp telling us that yes a reload actually happened so that part works um, in the butler logs we see that this line appeared it tells us that um, an API was called basically where the call came from and uh, which REST API uh, was called and if we then finally update the, um, the task view in the QMC you see that we got a couple of new timestamps uh, 417 and that matches the 417 here so all's good let's do this again with um, a full reload so I'm changing the, that reload flag to partial reload flag to false and load again and it looks very similar um, the difference is that we got 10 rows of data and uh, also it says partial load false so in this case here we made a full reload which is what we specified in the first app as well in the butler window we see that yes we got another call to the butler api and hopefully also an updated timestamp for 18 now good the final demo here will be to load to reload an app that we know always fails so let's change that and this app the app with this id is constru constructed so that it always fails let's load that one okay so the call itself was fine the call to the butler api was good no problem in the butler logs here we say that we see that we did get another call here but we also got a warning that uh, reload failure of app app id on uh, the sensor in this case and also what engine version we we had so the reload of the app failed when that happens we also get a warning in the logs um, but we specified a different set of apps that should trigger when the reload fails so let's see if that indeed happened let's see here yep looks like it um, we got new timestamp 419 which matches um, um, pretty much the um, timestamps here yeah so we had uh, we went from 418 late 418 to 419 here and if you look closely here you see that it's uh, 3 1520 here in the butter logs simply because we're um, running that on a server with uh, UTC rather than CT and this concludes the demo of partial loading in Butler 5. Thanks for watching.